So I'm joined by uh, first team head coach Ross Jenkins. Um, Ross, how have you enjoyed your time at the club, obviously since since starting here? It's been really good, really good. Um, the boys have come back in good shape, and we've worked them hard. Um, the staff have been on board and really welcoming as well, which is a positive. Um, but they've really taken to what we want to do here. Um, it's obviously a, a new way of thinking and a new way of playing. Uh, the staff have supported me amazingly so far. Um, we've had some really good work done on the training pitch. Uh, the boys have worked really hard as well. Uh, they've put the miles in. They've come back with a good appetite to take on new information. So that's really important. Um, but so far, so good. But I think now we're, we're, we're keen to get playing some games now. Um, so the boys are in good spirits leading into tomorrow's game. So that'd be an exciting one to see. Yeah. So you mentioned about the new, uh, new style of play. How, how has that been? How have the boys taken to that one? Yeah, they've been really open-minded, um, really positive. Um, obviously, nothing's going to happen overnight. It, it needs time. But the boys have been really on board and open-minded about um, different ideas, different methods, different ways of training, uh, different way of setting up. So, um, so far, the boys have been really positive and the staff have really followed as well. There's been a real shift in sort of mentality and attitude here. Everyone wants to do the work. And um, so far, the attitudes have been spot on. So, no complaints. Yeah, perfect. Um... So obviously going to be a big test tomorrow with a uh, first team from Watford coming. How are you, how are you feeling? How's the prep been going into, going into the game? Yeah, it's been good. It's been solid. Um, we know it's going to be a tough one. It, it, they're, they're, a, they're a strong team. Um, I know the club very well. Um, I know they'll bring a, a decent team here like we did back in the day. Um, so we have to be prepared for that. Um, it's going to be a, um, a bit of a battle around the pitch. But we want to show some of the stuff we've been working on. Um, it's not going to be... Um, absolutely perfect. It never is the first game of the season. So it's important we know that in the back of our minds, but it's important the boys get some minutes now. Um, real good competition, next two games especially. I think we've done enough training amongst ourselves. We need to get into the games now. We need to play against oppositions. Uh, we need to go and get on that carpet because it, the pitch is looking brilliant. The boys are uh, looking forward to that and so am I. So just to get going now, I think everyone's ready to, to get some minutes now and I think that's the next step in our sort of pre-season plan is to get the boys some real minutes and um, yeah, the boys are looking forward to it. Yeah, is that how you view pre-season as well then? It's more about, is it less about the results, more about getting the boys ready for a tough season? Yeah, there's a bit of a mixture. Um, obviously you want to win games of football, that's, that's a sort of a habit you want to get into. But I think being the first pre-season game, the first real game that the new boys have had to really settle in. Um, that's really important as well to see. We've got some trial boys, we've got some young boys as well. Um, so we don't want to put too much pressure on them. We want to see what we've been practicing and training. We want the boys to have the confidence to try it. Um, yes, it's against good opposition, but we're going to come against good opposition in the season. So it's no different really. They're going to want to play a different style as well. They want to do different things under a new manager. Um, I know Clevs will set them up in a different way and um, he'll be wanting to see some of the things that he's been working on. So. Um, real good opportunity for both teams to play on a really nice pitch uh, to try and get some positives out of the game, um, get some minutes in the tank and most importantly top up the minutes and the, and the, the fitness, that's what pre is for. But we want to put a good performance in and know that we've, um, we've tried to work on some of the things we've done in training. Yeah, and you obviously mentioned about some of the academy lads, are they going to be expecting to get some, some playing time as well? So you've yeah, been... most definitely. Um, they've been with us from the start, they've been brilliant. They have. Um, we want to encourage that sort of production line of players coming through the academy. Um, I think I've said previously, I probably wouldn't be sat here today if someone didn't trust me and throw me in as a kid. So we want to do the same here. We've The club's got a good track record of producing young players. We want to continue that. And the most important part is we get them in pre-season and we get a feel for it. So first class so far, the boys have stepped up. Um, so big credit to the coaches as well here to bring those boys up. It's not just what we do now, it's what's done previously. So. Um, I know Lloyd's moved on, but Ross has stepped up with the first team. He's done great work with the, with the kids and hopefully we can get a few more in. Yeah, and obviously three new signings as well. Um, if you could just mention about how they've been getting on since joining the group. Yeah, they've, they've come in and sort of fit in perfectly really, straight in. What I would say, the change room is very welcoming. Um, there's a real t togetherness that you can sense. Um, it's really upbeat and, and so far the boys who have come in, they've sort of hit the ground running in terms of training. There's no divide. Um, training's been upbeat, everyone's involved, everyone's together, there's a real togetherness. Um, so straight away, that, that's something that's really important to me, is having a good changing room. Um, and so far, the boys have displayed that perfectly. Yeah, and obviously, lastly, on a personal note, you spent a lot of your playing career at Watford. Are you looking forward to seeing some familiar faces out there? 
Yeah, yeah, I think I'll, I'll know a few. Um, a, a lot of uh, ins and outs since my time there. Um, there's a few faces still at the club that would be nice to see. Um, a club that I still follow. You know, it's a club I came through the academy and made it into the first team. So I've got a real attachment to the club. But my attachment at the moment is, is Bournemouth and that's the most important thing right now. So, yes, we'll say hello, but as soon as the game kicks off, it's about our players, about our style, about our shape, about our staff and our football club. Um, so, yeah, we'll say hello, we'll have a cuddle or whatever. But after that, it's, um, it's focusing on what we do.